so welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week I want to talk to you about a, a drill that I probably give to a lot of my my clients um, because one of the major faults that we see in golf is where the hips invade the space of the hands and arms as they're swinging down and the club as they're swinging down to hit the ball. Uh, and what do I mean by that is one of the it's the biggest fault we do uh, generally see. Uh, people will call it early extension or um, uh, loss of spine angle. They'll call it different things, but it all relates to the same same thing. And what it generally means is as they're swinging down to hit, the, to hit a golf ball, they have a tendency to fire off the right hip uh, to, get, to get into the ball. Uh, they'll come up onto the tip of the toe too soon. And this can have dramatic effects. And generally for your better player, what would generally happen is as soon as they fire that hip, this will get the club stuck behind them. Okay. Um, uh, or for your amateur, most amateur golfers, as soon as they fire that right hip, this means the right shoulder is coming forward as well. So it, it can work on both levels. It just depends on your skill level to a certain degree. And what generally happens for the good player, for example, is as soon as they get the, the right hip going, they get ahead of the ball, the club head and the momentum of the club will pop behind them. They're then trapped from here. They're then moving up into the shot. So their, their pelvis is moving forward. They're then having to release or reroute the club to try and square up to the ball. And they'll, they'll either hook it or they'll you know, block it out right because they didn't get there soon enough. Amateur golfers, totally different cut of beast. As soon as they spin that right hip forward, uh, this pushes the club and hands out this way. And we all know the story. Come across it, you either pull it left or slice it out to the right-hand side. So the right hip is, is really important. Both hips are important, obviously. And the way the function works or the way the hips work is they're pushing away from the, the weight or the momentum of the club. It's the same as if I was playing tug of war with somebody. If somebody's pulling this club, I'd, I'd sit back and I'd pull away against it. I'd be pushing this way. And even as the club goes back around me here, I'm pulling away from it. Okay, so we want the hips to work backwards. And what we want to try and focus on though, we try to do it in two parts to start with, is, is work on the right hip, then we work on the left hip. And I've always said it, I say about the hips working straight lines. Okay, so the right hip goes back, stays there, and left hip comes back to meet it. So very, very important you understand that. And you've got to understand the concept first. So you've got to understand what it can cause and why it's doing it. It could be something that you're doing I mean, all these things, all these drills on, 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 online aren't geared specifically for you, but it could be what you're doing. So, but generally most golfers will have a tendency to fire up into the ball and they'll, they'll get too close to it because the, the momentum, I mean, one of the things that I think it is is because they're trying to hit the ball hard. So they, they think they've got to fire another half. You know, we, we hear so many things of, you know, you've got to use the hips and yes, you do, you know, you do need to create this speed and torque they tend to get too far ahead of it and the circles then don't match up and that's really really important you understand that so a drill that we would do uh, for most golfers it's a very simple one is they would literally just hit balls and uh, it's called the right foot back drill and i've done videos on it before and you're probably bored to death of it but it's a very important one and it, it's a multifaceted drill really it does a does a lot of things but from a from an address position you'll take your stance as if he was going to hit the shot and all I would do is just drop my right foot back and when I say drop back my left foot might come forward a little bit just so I can reach the ball but my right foot so that the toe of the club or toe of my right foot is in line with the left heel okay so I've really dropped that hip back all right so everything's moved away this is going to give you a, a, an advantage just to get the feeling of what it's like to have the hip back now from here I can really feel like I've got all this space and all this room here for the hands and arms to swing down and fall into to hit the ball. I've got plenty of space. I'm not invading that area. So what I mean by invading it is I'm not putting a hip in the way. So suddenly now I can't pull my hands in. They, they throw out to the ball then uh, and then reroute to try and hit. With the right hip back, I can feel that um, I've got plenty of space and room to hit down into the ball. So... I, we generally start you off, you can be on a tee peg or you, you know, if you're brave enough, um, this is like literally my third swing, um, but if you're brave enough you can just hit it off the floor and you just basically can just do a very short swing just to get the feeling uh, of hitting the ball with that right hip back. Now when, I'm, when you're hitting the ball, what the name of the game is, 
or what you want to try and do when you hit it, is you're going to keep this right heel flat to the ground. All right. Yes, the full swing, it doesn't happen like that. This is just to give you a feeling of what you're trying to achieve. All right. So you're literally just going to have that right foot. Now, I find this very hard because I was very much a fire of the, the, of the right leg to try and, I always thought or believed, was it gave it more power. But it, it doesn't really. So you're just going to hit a few shots, just a few half swings to start with, just trying to keep that right foot back. Okay. And I've kept that right foot down. Now, my hips look like they've turned, but really what's happened here is my right hip stays here, but my left hip is going to meet the right hip. So I don't think I did that great. I didn't feel like I did that as well as I could do. So I'll try again. And it's just working on it. And the trick is not to go too hard or too fast. The trick is just to do it at a speed that you can complete it at and then build up. It's about learning skills basically at the end of the day um, so I'm just going to take my stance I'm just going to drop this right foot back just make sure I'm not overreaching for it very good now I feel comfortable here so my right hip staying back I'm going to swing it back I'm going to keep it there and then I'm going to push the left hip back to meet the, the I'm pushing the left hip back with my left leg to meet the right hip but this sort of makes it look like they're turning but I'm not mentally thinking of turning I'm thinking of pushing back so Right hip back, left hip back. So right hip back, left hip back. Okay. And that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling the hips working that way. My pelvis is working in that manner. Uh, so from a face on view, I take hold of the golf club. Sorry, I'm working on my grip again. I'm just re redoing my grip. So right foot back, you can see I've got a staggered stance. My right toe is in line with my left heel and I'm just swinging back. And as I hit it, I'm hitting the ball and then I'm swinging up to here. Okay, back and back. All right, and that's what I'm trying to work on. So it's really going to help you out immensely. You, hopefully you can see as I'm doing this is that the club is approaching the ball on a, a much shallower path. Because I've got all the space and all the room in the world to swing from, from inside to out. My right hip isn't invading that space. And that's really key. So this is really what I want you to be working on this week back and through okay i can feel that hip staying back you can then progress it and if you're going to progress it the way i would progress it is to roll onto my side of my right foot so i can have that back but then roll onto the side of my right foot uh, so i can roll and hit okay so just to progress it I kind of try and keep that heel down, but I'm going to roll into that right foot. Back and through. Okay, so I rolled onto the side of the foot. It wasn't my best strike, but it did the job. Uh, just by doing that, rolling in here, this pushes my knee inwards and my hip and, and everything down and in, as opposed to firing out. Okay, that's, that's one of the ways here. Because then I can progress it. Once I've done this, then I can roll it up. Okay, hopefully that'll be after the ball's gone, unless I've missed it. Um, but yeah, which could happen. You know, happened before. Um, so yeah, generally that's really what I want you to be working on um, when you're hitting golf balls. Now, then you can start to square the stance up and then you can maybe hit a few shots where you just feel that right heel still flat on the ground um, and just swing back. So and just swing through here. Okay, my foot stay flat on the ground this just keeps my hip back just for those few seconds more obviously i'm not saying that's how you hit the ball um i would i would you know we want to release the the right side but one way that you could do it once you've learned to roll it in and from a standard stance here is you could do it in this way just to start off with back and then just roll it up gently okay and try to blend it in um, but if you're definitely struggling with if you noticed on a video or you've had a lesson with somebody and they've told you that's your you're extending in try and keep the hip back and that's really a, a key way to practice it is with the staggered stance um, I'm very guilty of it I know I am uh, I do tend to move up into it I can see it, it frustrates the heck out of me so my goal this year is to really work on that and really exercise that. So I'm doing that via working on uh, you know, flexibility, 
um, working in my training to do that right and um, because flexibility is really important especially my age I'm coming up for 50 this year so um, not far off from 50 so I'm looking at trying to stay more flexible as opposed to strength okay so because things tighten up you know your posterior your posterior chain is is vital in, in this point so it's really important that you work on that and, and just get that feeling so for me hips working away I've gotten a bit slack on that recently and that's where I need to be really working on it and I'm just working on the hips so right hip back and left hip back I'm really trying to stay in flexion when I do that so anyway hopefully that helps you hopefully that's uh, going to give you a little bit more of an insight in a, a drill that I, I like to perform with most of my clients because they really do get the feeling of the right hip being out of the way. And what they immediately say is, wow, so much space here. I've got so much room. I don't feel like I'm invading. And that's what you really want to try and work on. All right. Anyway, hope that suits you. Hope you're well. And uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, please share, please like, and please subscribe if you haven't done so. About 80% of you, I think, don't subscribe. Just a simple press of that button. It does me a lot of favors. So anyway, really hope you enjoy that. And uh, I hope you enjoy your golf this weekend and I'll catch you next week.